Hey, what's up guys, the Baldi Dead here, bring you guys another bombastic video, and this time I want to talk about young CSGO players. I'm sure every one of us has met a child in a competitive game or a pug, and I'm talking about children who aren't mature enough yet to be involved with the esports community, to be involved with our community. And let's be honest right here, CSGO community is pretty damn toxic, we have a lot of toxic people right here. But don't get me wrong, sometimes a 13 year old can be mature enough to play CSGO competitive and sometimes a 15 year old uh, isn't mature enough to play CSGO competitive. And uh, I'm not talking about one particular age group right here, I'm talking about immature kids in general. And I know there are a lot of immature kids who play CSGO or who want to play CSGO in competitive. but. It's kinda tough for them. I actually met one kid a few days ago who had a decent amount of skill, but judging by his voice he hadn't hit his puberty yet. Uh, but uh, anyway, so he had a decent amount of skill and he even ended the game with more frags than me. But uh, even though he had like a face it level of 7, which is relatively high, especially for a kid, uh, he didn't understand some very simple aspects of the game. He was pushing every single round on the CT side, he refused to save his weapon in a situation where all the odds were against him winning the round, but uh, even though he did a lot of stupid shit, he got many frags and he got many impact frags as well. So I can't really say he he didn't have an impact of the game on the game and uh even though the guy had a decent amount of skill, as I said, it was very annoying to play with him for obvious reasons. I mean, he acted immaturely. As I said, he did a bunch of basic mistakes, he sometimes refused to drop a weapon despite having a huge bank, and uh, overall he was just annoying the shit out of me and my teammates. And I'm not saying that all kids play like that, but I'll say this right here. I think that immature CSGO players shouldn't play solo queue at all, whether it's face it, ESCA or matchmaking, doesn't matter. Ma immature CSGO players definitely shouldn't play solo queue. They should always play with a full pre-made with similarly aged kids uh, with a similar level of maturity, because otherwise they're going to be very annoying uh, to their teammates and they might get cyberbullied or however you call it nowadays. And uh, I know some of my viewers are very young and they might misunderstand me right here, but I'm not actually insulting anyone. I'm just trying to discuss an ongoing problem. Because clearly there is something wrong when teens and grown-ups insult kids in CS. And there is clearly something wrong when kids do immature shit in a so-called competitive game which is like supposed to be competitive and you shouldn't do stupid shit there. And uh, some of you might say that I should only play with a full pre-made myself if I'm afraid of meeting uh, or playing with kids, but guess what? I'm actually playing with a full pre-made whenever I can now and I don't meet kids very often in CS. I just wanted to simply discuss this topic with you guys and uh, I thought it was worth making a video about it. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. But I also want to know what you guys think about this topic. Do you agree with me that kids, immature kids, shouldn't solo queue in CSGO? Because I honestly think uh, they shouldn't because, I mean, for obvious reasons. Uh, for reasons I explained in this video, but uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comment section what you think about it, and uh, I'll see you all later, peace out.